Hello, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I've got a run and gun game. Now, I like dinosaurs and I like guns. So on the Mega Drive, there was Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire. Now, I don't think it came out over here in the UK. I've only ever seen a Genesis ROM of this one. So that's what I'm going to give it a go. From the early looks of things, I it looks like Contra with dinosaurs. I mean, I'm not great with Contra, but let's see how this plays out. I mean, I do like a good dinosaur game, so let's just try it out. It does seem a bit cartoony so I'm guessing it's based on a cartoon graphic novel sort of thing I haven't read that so it'd be quite interesting to see it with fresh eyes so tonight for your viewing enjoyment please sit back relax and enjoy this is Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire on the Sega Mega Drive so what happens when you give a load of dinosaurs machine guns and make them run amok Contra style yes you get dinosaurs for hire was it T T Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire so I'm guessing this is based off a cartoon or a comic or something to that effect. But yeah, it's, I, I remember I, I played this a, a, a while ago and I think I did it in co-op with, with my friend Dan. And yeah, it was, it was kind of Contra, but with dinosaurs and it's just weird. And I think, well, I want to get back to it because I can't remember what it was like. So best thing to do is get on with it. Oh, I was thinking set of Archie, who's a T-Rex. We've got Lorenzo, who's a Triceratops. And we have Reese, who's a Stegosaurus. Uh, that, he wears air dinos. I mean, I mean, natural. He's weird. He doesn't look like a T-Rex. He kind of looks a bit like a little raptor thing. He dislikes paleontologists and network executives. I mean, I mean, I love a Stegosaurus. Me, so I'm probably going to go with with Reese. So if memory serves, we literally start with a boss, don't we? I mean, that's large. So it starts with a, it starts at a dam, and a kaiju is attacking said dam. Oh shite! Frick! I don't seem to have a health gauge, so um, I think that's just like a gimme. Oh, so this is the intro here. Tom Dinosaur, Tom Mason's Dinosaurs were higher, and it, the, it's not good when you show kind of the um, the credits at the beginning, because that means it's going to be bloody hard. It's like problem with your Genesis's blast processing unit, psych. Anyways, the real game starts here. Good luck. Oh, we're never going to stop talking about blast processing, are we? Like, ever. Right. We'll have unlimited ammo, so I'm just going to basically run the road as ninjas drop from the sky. I mean, they... They all look like Kage from, um... Virtual Fighter. Yeah, I saw you. Okay, so we've got literal run and gun shizzle happening here. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, I have a close combat. Uh, if you press the A button, I, I hit my thagomizer because I love the word thagomizer. It's one of the best words ever. Uh, I, see, I see many ninjas below. Uh, okay. How do I get that upgrade? I, w I want the upgrade. I can't get the upgrade. Right, I'm just going to go without it. Oh, I've got my uh, milkshake because it brings all the boys to the yard. Right, let's go. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, shite. Uh, hello, Contra vibes. But the thing was, the thing I find, I'm so big. 
It's just really hard to avoid anything. Flipping egg. That was yeah something. Subway party. Get get ready. <laughs> that get ready is always gonna be in the forefront of my mind. That whole. All oh, right. Okay, we got people. Okay, well, and, and a Batmobile. Oh, that's large. Can I not kill the Batmobile? Apparently not. What the fuck is going on? There's a very large insect now. Oh, I can kill the Batmobile. Oh, man. Got some health. That's something. Large insectoid. This is absolutely B movie flipping. That. There's just no way you can see what the hap is going on half the time. That's the thing I always find with run and gun games. Is it? Am I supposed to just kind of just crawl forwards in case the Batmobile in case that Batmobile appears? Because that's kind of look looking like what's happening right now. Got some more health. Oh, can I jump on their heads to kill them? If I just seem to just stay down here and just take out the Batmobiles, I seem to be all right. Oh, extra life. Subway Part B. Get ready. I didn't even see what I shot then. Oi! Can stuff off the screen just not hit me, please? It's very, very confu confusing. Is that one? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, shite. Oh, now I'm down here with the fucking Batmobile again. Right. You know what? I'm going to take the high road. You should always take the high road. Oh, for flip's sake. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Okay, that platform barely moves anywhere towards you. Let's try it again. There we go. Oh. oh f All these mounted guns are doing my absolute nut. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fuck off! Ugh! Fucking Mad Max over here. I mean, the, the, issue, the main issue I've got is just trying to avoid the fire when you're this large and cumbersome and I'm dead. Shit. Oh, and I've gone back to having my fucking pea shooter weapon. Yeah, because that makes a fuck ton of sense, doesn't it? Can't get all the things beforehand, so let's just take your weapons away. You know what? I'm just going to just speed run this. Bollocks to this. This is silly, this. Oh, yes. And I forgot my fucking piss-take-shit weapon doesn't actually kill the Batmobile things. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, see, look. It just... You have to shoot it for, like, a week for it to freaking... But I can't go up this way, which meaning I have to go back and find another way up.
I think the issue that I always have with games like this is when you have constantly spawning enemies. Like, I've, I've taken these dickheads out already. Why do I have to still fight them? Ah. Uh. This, these cars are fucking ridiculous. In fact, this level's fucking ridiculous, if you ask me. No. Right, I've got to take the high road. Right, this much is clear. I'll get down. And that's an okay. That's another pet hate of mine. When you get shot, you stop. It literally can knock you out of the air. I fucking hate that in games. Is that bloody gun done? Okay, so you can't use your your thingy attack. You're close. That laser is driving me out the wall. Okay, well, oh, that's another thing that keeps happening to me at the moment. You press jump, and it does fuck all! Like that. I definitely pressed the jump button. Do you, do you mean to show you on camera that I pressed the jump button? Jump, you stupid fucking dinosaur. Oh. I mean, if you like games like this, you'll end up play. let's be honest, you'll play Contra. Fuck's sake, and then you fall off because he can't fucking jump. <sighs> Seriously, this game is, I'm starting to think, is actual arse. I, I remember it being actually quite good. We're going back to it now. I'm inclined to say, this is arse. Why would a subway have this many mounted guns in it? Let's be perfect. Oh, look, look, because the hitbox of where the bullets come out of my gun is kind of almost slightly beyond where the thing is. It shoots behind it. That's bollocks. Fuck's sake. Because I'm caught in some weird confluence of gunfire. Oh, right, okay, right. So when you get shot, you let go of the ladder. That. This is fucking bollocks. This really is. Can I not get that laser? Oh, my God. Oh, come on now with the fucking cars. They shouldn't be this difficult to kill. Right, I've got a spread shot now, so it's only really, really cars that are going to be an issue. So I've gone below, and I... Fuck. So in theory, with the exception of him, who cannot be killed, I shouldn't have as many lasers up top of that. But... I'm just so bored of this game now. Like, oh, for goodness sake! If I just take it section by section, just take my time. And just fall off, because that was pathetic. Of course, they're going to spawn another car. It looks like the gun turrets aren't, oh, for fuck's sake, aren't spawning as, aren't coming back once I've blown them up, which is, which is good. I've got a spread shot. There we go. I have a spread shot. That is health. 
Okay, I'm doing, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. I can't fire directly down. Oh, hang on, what's that? Is that... You know what? I'm at the fucking end. Oh my god, I completed that fucking... That wasn't even a boss. We've got a boss now. Fast, he's get, motherfuckers getting faster. Oh. There has to be a. Oh, there's, there's some fucking health there at least. I'm sorry. I don't understand how you're meant to fucking hit him without getting hit. So the spread fight, and you can't fire down. That's that's the fucking Achilles heel here. I'm just gonna tank it. I'm just. I, I just had to literally just tank it because that was just ridiculous. I've made some progress. Doesn't feel like it, but at least I get to see. Well, this is the furthest I've ever got in this freaking game. I don't. I'm still trying to work out why. Empire State Building. Good. Uh. Hey, because you gotta have a moving platform. Now we. What? Oh my. Because you can't... You're just fucking fishing a fucking barrel here. You can't... What? I don't I understand. Why, why Why am I not killing any of them? What? This is definitely not one of those levels where they really thought about the actual design of it. I don't fit... What? what? So if you're shot, your, your bullets stop me there, yeah? Is that how bullets work? Is it? Oh, fuck me! Just turning streaks of fucking rage. This is this is ridiculous because they they always get the shot off before you even had a chance to see where the hell they are. Are we done? Oh, that's a door. Um, hope you enjoyed that little ride up here. Next time, fly, it's faster. Thanks, Tyrannodon. The last of Terrell Beast, we've known only as Mega Minotaur, Hoyt to his buds, has taken control of the cable TV receiver on the top of the Empire State Building. Millions of subscribers are really peeved. Try knocking off his hands before you go for the head. Good luck. Okay, well, this is not going to last very long. This is... I think I've only got one life left, but... Oh. Or oh, he could just drop a morning star on my fucking head. Great. That's, uh... At least I'm... Yeah, okay. Right, gotcha. But unfortunately, I don't have any of my upgrades. I'm... My bullet's going through his hands. That... He's... Uh, okay, so... Why? I can't seem to shoot anything. I can only shoot him when he's throwing his bullshit. What? Why is he only vulnerable to a certain period of time? Well, there's one. Well, I'm shooting him. I'm shooting him. None of it's registering. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Well, you're missing your hands now, dickwad. I've just noticed I don't seem to have a health bar. A whoa, 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 whoa. I don't. A boss should always be available to being shot. Like always. Is that him done? I might have done him there. <sighs> Flipping egg. 
I'm, I, I, I'm really not enjoying this game very much, if truth be told. We're going to a cavern now. At least we've got, we're making some levels. Made a hash of... Oh my, what was that? There's some weird mutated freaking plant things here. Okay. Zombies, zombies. Plant zombies. Fuck. Why can't I jump? I can grab that. Oh, I can jump. Spider. Okay, can't seem to kill this creature. Oh, fuck you. Wait, it's instant death if you fall off. Oh, come on. Well, that wasn't obvious, was it? Okay, let's go over this side and... Uh, it looks like, to quote Yaz, the only way is in fact up. For you and me now. Sorry, I had to. I do feel like a lot of stuff is killed off screen because you kind of hear it go bang and wait spiders spiders throw projectiles okay then oh yeah we had this bullshit last time didn't we you gotta wait for the exact moment when it's above you right i'm just gonna sit tight and just shoot this silly plan kill the spider Did I ever tell you I hate moving platforms? Because I hate moving platform games. Oh, come on now. Oh, okay, because fucking S Snake Man comes from the side. Okay. Right, I can't go anywhere that side. For fuck's sake. This is a, this is so frustrating. This this game is so frustrating. Like, it's just just not even. It was kind of amusing at first, but now it's just, well, it's ass. <laughs> not being able to shoot down. I mean, I don't know if that's uh, expecting it to be contra thing. And well, I don't understand why the jump is so um, inconsistent. And why I can't, you know, just shoot diagonally normally? Why do I have to walk? Why? Why, why can't I just stand still and aim diagonally? I don't... Nah. Why? I do... Oh, fuck's sake. Is it you can't jump as high if you're shooting? No, it's just... I... Is there a double jump I'm unaware of? I don't like the timing for this freaking platform. I don't know if they're actually working on different fucking time zones. It looks like it. I'm going to go right to the actual feasible edge. No. So you can't make that jump. Surely. Oh, wait. I'm just being an idiot. Because you, you, don't, you don't go that way. Guessing I can make that jump. Why, why else would there be a platform there? That's not. Oh fuck's sake! Right, we're just gonna wait, patiently wait for this one to be at a. The desired height. How the hell am I meant to get that? 
I mean, that's just a trick to make me fall down, isn't it? I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. Because, oh my goodness! Oh, there was one up there, but because it has a platform that basically just decays and goes away. Oh, I can't get it. You know what? Forget it. Vertical levels can frickin' suck one, as far as I'm concerned. I... Oh my god, thank goodness for that. Beneath Hoover Dam, get ready. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. There appear to be some electrical sprites. Ow! Yeah, so this is... Oh! Also, oh, you can't go... Well, there, there goes my good shot. Oh, for goodness sake! So much, I just don't understand what the hell is going on here. I guess we're going this way. I'm just going to try and complete this level. Oh my god, I actually got minced in the turbine. <sighs> okay, one last one, one last continue. I, I can't see me persevering with this for much longer. This is getting on my nerves. And I just ended up straight into the fucking turbine. Right, okay. We know the turbines kill you, and yet... Right, we'll just wait for the... So how do I get down and go get that then, huh? Okay, these little electric sprites are getting on my tits now. Wait, those are lasers, aren't they? Ha! Ah. But because the apex of my gun is the wrong side, it doesn't count. Great. No, I don't want to... I really don't want to get minced by that. So, how am I supposed to get out of this little pickle here? Like that, is the answer. Grab that. Oh wait, so we now can jump on these. Can I mention it's really not obvious what you can and cannot stand on? Because sometimes you slide off it, sometimes it, or sometimes it just outright kills you. Oh, fucking... I'm just going to endeavour to to ignore these silly ass things. Right, well, we know there's a laser there somewhere because I could see its fire coming across. Uh, what's below me? It wasn't obvious what was below me there! Why is there even a gap? You could just insta die! Oh, and I'm back to the fucking start. I have ever oh, played. This is I mean, I'm not... Yes, granted, you know, run and gun is not... is not my thing. But... Uh, uh, that still hit me. There was absolutely no consistency to that... steam whatsoever. Was that something good? I hope it was. I don't, oh. No, you know what? I'm done. I know I've got lots of continues. I don't want to play this anymore. This is driving me up the bloody flipping wall. Now, I think that's it for dinosaurs for hire for me. I've, I've I kind of had my fill, if you will. So guys, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm calling this a video here in one of the most frustrating run and gun games I think I've ever played. It seems quite cool. I like the fact it's dinosaurs. I like the fact they have guns. I don't like the fact that the guns are so fucking long that if something's right on top of you, you can't shoot it. You should have way more health because you're a freaking dinosaur. There's too much stuff on the screen 
all over you like a bullet hell game, but you don't, you're not in a spaceship, you can't fly, you are very, very, very difficult to manoeuvre, you have the turning circle of a sumo wrestler, so, you know, I don't, I, it, it just became incredibly frustrating, two player might be a bit of a different story, we'll never know, because I've got no age. So, <laughs> but guys, what did you guys think of Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire? Is this a game you enjoyed? I'm sure people, we've got lots of gatekeepers coming on here telling me how I play the game wrong and what they should have done and how I didn't give it a chance. Well, I did give it a lot of chance. I just don't think it's that great. But then again, maybe you shouldn't listen to me. Running guns aren't really my thing. I just, I was intrigued because it was dinosaurs and I like guns. However, it's very, I personally found it very frustrating. And I'm sorry if you don't like my opinion, that is it. There. I've said it, you know. I mean, I, I mean, I had this on that Eternal Champions video. I gave my opinion, and apparently my opinion's wrong. Well, no. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to leave this here. So, thanks again for, for well, well, most of all, if you say if you have come this far, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like, perhaps subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, yeah, that's dinosaurs with dinosaurs for hire. Can't say I've read the book or the graphic novel or the comic. Game drove me up the damn wall. Probably the last time I'm ever going to play it. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll come back and stream it one day. Never mind. Well, I'm going to leave this here. So thanks again for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.